Hi everyone, uh, Frank with Clean Carburetor. Uh, here we have two rectifiers from an outboard engine. One is um, in a pretty bad state. He suffered, he, he suffered a, um, a burn through. Um, and we're just going to take a look on what a good rectifier should look like. So let me just swap it here for a second and let's go with the new one. The yellow wires on this particular one connect to the to the alternator, to the stator. And this is the high voltage coming from the alternator. It's about 200 to 300 volts AC. And the job of the rectifier is to take that voltage and transform it to 12 volts or 14, 15 volts if you like to charge your battery and uh, entire electrical system on your RV, on your boat. So here we have um, 93.5 kilo ohms um, on the primary circuit of the rectifier. Now if we go to the secondary circuit this is what it connects to your 12 volts DC system on the on the vehicle. You read 7.5 unstable some 7.34 uh, mega ohms. So with this the rectifier uh, should be able to convert that high AC voltage into low DC voltage. It's worth mentioning that this is not insulated from the ground. We do have a ground that is connected to the coils on the inside and to the circuit 7.6 on the brown to on the gray to the ground on the red to the ground um, some 33 kilo ohms and let's see on the yellow ones um, some 46 kilo ohms on the one should be the same on the second one 46, 47 kilo ohms on the second one. Oh, this is the good rectifier. Now let's take a look at the bad one. Uh, the first two wires, the two yellow ones, they read 4.5 meg mega ohms. And on the primary circuit, and let's see on the secondary circuit, <laughs> there is no, there is, I just don't have a good contact, and it's very, um, well, let's see if I can get better contact. Here it is, it's very unstable. It stabilizes around 2 point, if you move the wires, it becomes very unstable. Something inside here has been damaged. So with this, the actually you can see the wire, it's a little bit harder with this light. The, oh, here it is, never mind. Here it is, it just burned through the, the red wire. So this is a bad rectifier, yeah. Um, it's very simple test you have to check with the manufacturer specs if your rectifier actually uh, reads the same homage as as you as when you test it but thank you for watching like uh, like us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel so we'll be uh, posting more uh, channels that might help you troubleshoot uh, different items on your 
RV boats and motorcycles, uh, power equipment and so on. Thank you for watching. Bye now.